How's it going everybody? Welcome back. Uh, we're going to be doing a baking video today, me and Ivy. Um, I know it's been a while since we actually recorded one, hasn't it? Yeah. But it's going to be a quick one I think today. We were going to make some Christmassy cupcakes, but we don't have enough chocolate in, which is rubbish, isn't it? Um, but we got one of these, um, gifted to us a while back. It's a super oat and flax, uh, flapjack mix. Um, I love flapjack. You, you like flapjack, don't you? Yeah, I have it. Um, I so. had it at nursery. You've had it, you had it when you went used to go to nursery? Yeah. Wow, that was a while ago. Um, and it only needs two extra ingredients in it, which is uh, butter or coconut oil, but we're going butter. I guess that's if you want to keep it vegan. We have butter and any syrup of choice, and we're going with maple syrup, aren't we? Right, yeah. let's get on with it. So, there you go, Ivy. They're the oats. You need to pour them all into this bowl. There we go. Oh. Oh. There we go. It's easy if you use two hands. There you go. Just chuck that in there. Wow. Awesome. Okay, Ivy, so we need 100 grams of butter on here. So, do you know what the number 100 looks like? 100. Do you know what it looks like? It's a one yeah. and two zeros. I can do it. Okay, okay. Go on then. Scrape it off. Right, what we got? 18. So you need to do that four more times, roughly. <laughs> Hold the tub. Right, you've done it. You're doing good. Nice big scoops. Wow. Oh, nearly there. Keep going. So there we go. Is it 101 now? It was at 100 a minute ago. It can't quite make it stand up. You did good there. Took a minute, but you did really well. So now, uh, there's some big bits, bit, like some grown up bits, just that involve the heat, because I don't want you to get burn, burnt. So I'm going to put this on, and we're going to melt the butter. So you can pour the butter into there, into here. And then I'll put it on the heat. Good girl. Just a little bit there. Awesome. So we're going to melt that. And I'm going to add in five tablespoons of maple syrup. I want to do that. Well, I'll do it just because I don't want you leaning over the uh, hot pan. Uh, I don't want you to get hurt. But then you can do everything afterwards. So I'm good. Yeah. Cool. So yeah, I'm going to add five tablespoons of maple syrup into here. There we go. So. I've added in the maple syrup and we just need to stir it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move your chair up a little bit and let you do that. But you've got to be very careful. Okay. So there you go. So if I hold that, that won't fall. There you go. Look at you. So over there we've already lined a baking tray or a brownie tin or a loaf. It doesn't matter what you use. Um, so I'm using obviously a brownie tin um, for this full mix to go into. So, how are we getting on? That's looking good, melting together nicely. I'm just going to turn it up a little bit. There we go. Because then once it's all melted together, Ivy, we need to mix it in with all the oats. Don't we? Yeah. <laughs> oh, let me hold that. <laughs> there we go. Hey, that's looking really good now. So that's going to be all sweet and sticky. Oh, we don't want it to boil, though. <laughs> there we go. That's looking good. I think we can add that into the mix now. Okay. Right, so just move your hands back a little bit, darling, because this is very, very hot. Obviously, I don't want anything to spill on you. So, we're going to get the butter and syrup mix, and we're just going to tip it straight in. Mmm, that looks disgusting. <laughs> it doesn't look very... Oh, it smells nice, though. Right, there's a spoon, very gently stir it. I'm going to hold the bowl for you. Yeah, it's going to be tough, this, really tough. Oh, yeah, you need to use some serious elbow grease. Right, so you had a little bit of help because it was tough, didn't you? But that's it, Ivy, it is all stirred together. So, we need to put it into this tin. Can you pour it into there? So if I take the spoon out one minute. Right, so if you pour it and then I can just scrape it. 
Just so I find out the tin was a bit too big. <laughs> hold that, hold tight. <laughs> there we go. Come out nicely though, it's not too sticky. Right, so now I'm gonna flatten it down with the spoon. Ouch. You want to do it? Go on then. Just flatten it down a little bit. <laughs> it's a bit tough. You want some help? Yeah. Okie dokie. Right, so, here we go. Right, so, I have just changed for a much, much smaller dish. Um, just purely because that one, it would have been like a tiny little thin layer. And I don't think that would have taken too well, would it, Ivy? So I went for one of my, like, pasta dishes or lasagna dishes when we do individual ones. So it's very small. I'll show you if I can. This is what we've got now. I'm hoping it's going to take well. These are going to be nice, big, thick pieces. So there we go. That is it. All smoothed out, Ivy. Is it ready to go in the oven? It needs to go in the oven, which obviously I will do because ovens are a bit dangerous, aren't they? So it goes in at 100 and, mm, 160 uh, for 15 minutes. Here we go. There we go. So see you in 15 minutes. Right, so they are done. So we get our incredibly burnt oven mitt. Let's turn this off. Oh, it looks good. It smells good too. Can I make a gingerbread for Barbie? Can you make a gingerbread? Yeah. Give me a gingerbread, man. Yeah. Well, we can later. So now, Ivy, we have to let it cool. And to let it cool, it says the best way to do it is just put it in the fridge. So, should we check it in about an hour, see how it tastes? Yeah. Cool. Well, there we go. What do you think of it, Ivy? Uh, it looks delicious. It does. What do we do? <laughs> You've got to do with the hand too. It does. It looks really good. Um, I think it's separate around the fridge, so we're going to pull it out of here. But I'd like to do that with one hand. There we go. Let's have a strata. So we've got it nice and thick, but we need to cut into it and see what it looks like. Okay. Okay, so, should we cut a piece, Ivy? Yeah. We can cut it along like that. Oh wow. Okay, so it's very crumbly. Maybe it needed something else, but it looks. I mean, it looks nice. Let's. I'll have a little piece. Do you want some? Um, yeah, I want a big piece. You want a big piece? Well, we'll just try it first. See what it's like. We might not like it. We'll give Teddy a little piece. In fact, we'll give him a bit more than that. Oh, look at all the crumbs. So <laughs> it's not. Maybe it's needs longer in the fridge, who knows, but I think maybe it was the syrup. Maybe it needs um, golden syrup next time. We have another box. We got, I think it was two for the pound, so should we give it a try? Right, so, are we going to try it? Yeah. Go on then, grab it and have a bite. Tell me what you think. Mm. Can... Is it nice? Yeah. Mmm, it is nice. I think golden syrup next time. Make it hold together better. Mm -hmm. We might record it. Yeah? It's easy, by the Well, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as we enjoyed making it because it's for fun, weren't it? Yeah. Well, yeah. We'll eat it all, won't we? Well, I think we'll make it again, but with golden syrup next time. And we might just have to record it. Thank you so much for watching. Obviously, if you enjoyed this video, leave us a like. Leave a like if you think she's cute, because she is. <laughs> and uh, drop a comment, let me know what you think, and obviously subscribe, and see you next time. Bye-bye.